In this video, we look at using a protractor to measure and construct angles. There are a few common mistakes which we will point out. This video is made by MediaWorks, South Africa's foremost provider of adult education. Visit www.mediaworks.co.za for more information on our computer-assisted and face-to-face -face learning programs. In the example figure we have, we need to measure the angle AEC. Right. If we are measuring that angle, we should place our protractor on the line AB. Be careful not to place your protractor above the line because you are not going to read your angle correctly. But actually place the line, the protractor on the line so that zero is against the line and make sure that the middle point where there is an X is on E. So you are going to read the angle of your angle. In this case, there is no line which shows us where C is. So what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to produce that line, which means we are going to extend line C. In mathematical terms, that is producing it. So now we can measure the angle AEC. In this case, it is going to be 140 degrees. That's the size of angle AEC. If we need to measure angle AEC, we should not place our protractor on top of the line like this because we are not going to measure the angle accurately. But actually, you should place your protractor that way so that the middle point touches exactly at point E and your zero is in line with the line A. And you are going to read from zero in a clockwise direction. You should not use the inside figures which starts from 180. So going in that direction, our angle is 140 degrees. So angle AEC is equal to 140 degrees. To verify that our answer here is correct, 140 degrees, we should also measure this angle. We know that angles on a straight line, they should add up to 180 degrees. So if we are correct here, we should have 40 degrees on angle CEB. Let's measure that angle. In this case, we are going to read from this zero. So going from zero, we see that this angle is 40 degrees which means we are correct because 140 plus 40 degrees gives us a total of 180 degrees.